Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. It's Thursday here in Springfield, Missouri, anyway. Don't know where it is where you guys are. It's also uh, January 20th, 2022. Uh, we're about to put a whole month behind us. It's getting close, getting close. You know, they say that uh, the way January goes, uh, actually, I, I think it's the first week in January is what they say. The way the first week in January goes is the way the rest of the year goes. I hope they're wrong. <laughs> this time, I hope they're wrong. Yeah. Okay. So, we still have a downtrend. The sellers are still in charge. It looks like we're getting a little bit of a bounce this morning. This bounce means absolutely nothing unless it actually does something. And what it needs to do, we've got a low here. We need to make a high. We need to make a low or a, a, a higher high, higher low or a double bottom maybe. And then we need to follow through. Uh, what seems to work for me pretty good is just simply following those red dots right there. These green dots, those red dots. Um, that isn't where the perfect high is. It's not, you know, it's not perfect there. But all in all, most of the time, I can use those red dots when they turn green. Everything is usually on track to do what I want to do. This is one of the reasons why I use that uh, right there. And you all know, it's just the 17 exponential moving average. That's all it is. So right now, the sellers still have control. We want to be careful not to jump in too quick to any shorts and definitely be careful not to jump into any longs. We need to let things shake out here. We certainly might start a relief rally, and a relief rally is not a full-blown rally. Relief rally is when we, we fight, 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 and close some of the gap. And what I mean by the, this gap is from where we failed here, close some of that gap right there. And by the way, it doesn't have to get up to it. Keyword is some. And then what will happen if this continues to the downtrend is the sellers will step in and drive us down. Right here is a perfect picture of that. Absolutely a perfect picture. Here we're down. We got a beautiful hammer. Absolutely beautiful. No questions about it. Um, we, let's make this green here. Uh, so there's our hammer. Then we got a great follow through right here. And then right up here, it started to turn a little bit sour. Sellers took control. And then here we went down just like that. So we could do that if we want to connect it. And that, that's what I'm looking at here. The possibility of doing that exact same thing. So we want to make sure it's real. Um, that's a poor word to use. Make sure, sure, it's real. You can't make sure of anything. So uh, it's, it's about probabilities. So to increase your probabilities, just using the, that red, red dots right now, and we'll use that blue line, we need to see price break out there, test, and then we can look to be bullish. So what we see on the chart right now is right in here is what I'm seeing. Of course, that can be adjusted and changed depending on where price is at the time because we cannot predict where price will be today, where it will close. We cannot predict where it will be tomorrow or next week. <clears throat> One second, please. Thanks. Okay, so let's look at some trades here. I think I've got eight of them. Got some longs and some shorts uh, on here. Those that were playing with some of the gold stocks yesterday. Here's Ego. This is an example. Uh, way to go. Uh, gold and silver just uh, stepped up and rocked hard yesterday. So uh, take Ego here. Ego's been in a nice little trend right here. We can even do this on Ego. Right there. Little train tracks. Uh, great little candle. Low, high, higher low. Good breakout of this level right through here. In fact, I think I need to draw a line in there. So I should have had the lines drawn before we came on. Um, so here we broke, break out, and right in this area would be a nice uh, buy area. We have to recognize that we have a top up here. Uh, 
that I don't think that's going to change me from buying it if I buy it. Uh, it's not going to change me at all from doing that. Um, however, price failing at that level will stop me from doing that. So we'll keep an eye on this, looking for an entry right here. If it gets through all this little mess, there's a little gap right over here that might make for a good fill. So we can go here and let's just put our box there. You're looking at about a 13.3% uh, trade if bought you know, right at the bottom of that box right there. Hey, I want to mention um, what I do. Somebody asked me what I do with all these stocks. And I put these on a watch list. Uh, I used the LTA scanner for the watch list. So what I did because of this person asking me this, I took the stocks off the watch list. And I put them right here so we could, I could talk about this this morning. So here's some stocks that came off the watch list that uh, did well yesterday. Take BABA. This has been on our watch list for a week or so. Because when I put them on the watch list, they stay on the watch list until they totally fall apart. So uh, BABA. BABA had a doji yesterday. Um, here it's coming up, so today might have been a nice day. Today might be just a nice day to take a look at that. Uh, PODD. Uh, I know several people uh, in the trading room that follows the watch list, and they made money yesterday. Congratulations. Even though it's moving up, don't beat yourself up. Uh, super trade. Uh, they bought into it back here, so this was on the watch list for a while. And we can go down the line. Uh, B-E-K-E. -E, uh, on the watch list uh, for a few days. So um, j just so what I do is, is when I do this watch, like these stocks here, I will add to the LTA scanner, and then that's my running uh, watch list. Very few stocks are on it, um, 50 maybe, 60, and then I, I cultivate it, weed through it. Anyway, thanks for that. Um, and speaking of BEKE, it's um, back on the watch list today because I think it looks like it may be headed to about this $30.90 area. Um, and from, 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 there we go. We're going to, we'll take from where it looks like it, mm, where the low of pre-market is today, about right here. That's a 34% trade up here to about the 200 period moving average. So from here, it's just a matter of following price, managing your trade, um, adjusting your stop as it moves up, maybe even taking profits on the way up. Notice how we have this uh, downtrend here, right there. See how we've broken out of that downtrend? See how the um, bulls, bears, bulls, bulls have put in a bottom here the bears couldn't get it back down. The bulls have held it up. And now here we are with a high, a low to a high to a higher low. That's a nice little morning start signal. And now we're starting to move up. There's no question in my mind we're going to come up somewhere and we're going to consolidate more. The probabilities of that uh, pretty much are 100%. Uh, but that's what stocks do. And what it would, as long as the trend holds, the trend. That's why we follow trends so much. As long as that trend holds, what'll happen, it'll find support and it'll start back up. It might even do it again. Come down to trend, find trend, find support, and come back up. And this is how you can collect 34% uh, on a trade. SWK kind of looks like a short in my book. Um, yeah, yesterday was an ugly, ugly day on here. Uh, we have an evening star, we have a gap down, we have an evening star right here at a top. It's also the 200 period moving average. Down we go. I see we're opening up about 182.23 today. Let this thing bounce around. If the market continues to roll to the downside, this may be set up for a nice short. short. So get that entry. Uh, when it comes to entry, I can't I mean, I can't tell anybody where to enter. If I had to do anything, there you go, on weakness below 178.82. But we're all traders. And what we do is we find better entries. You can only do that by learning how to do that. And that takes practice.
That's what we do in the rooms here in Rightway Options. A UA, another one of those gold charts. This is pretty. I like that. That's a pretty looking chart. Um, looks like we're bouncing off the dotted deuce right here. The dotted deuce is just a 200 period moving average that is uh, uh, tweaked a little bit. That's what that is. Uh, here we came right up through that that uh, 200 period moving average and the 50 period moving average looks like we're getting a little bit of a lift this morning um, doesn't mean that can't be a buy everyone has buying rules I would I would think that we're gonna come up and test something around 22 25 up here with with success with success on this um, it kinda looks there's a little gap fill right here and let's just run up here near the top. So, something like that. That's a 24% trade to the top. And great money could be made in just the middle. Um, as traders, as swing traders, uh, here's what we are not, in my personal opinion. We are not uh, bottom pickers. And we're not top pickers. What we are, we're the group of traders that takes money out of the middle like that right there so we're off the bottom so we're in prime buying territory we're at the top or up here's the top but we don't care we'll take that money right there any day this is easy trading um, eBay for a short moving downhill 50 period moving average has now crossed down through the 200 period moving average you can see how we rallied right up to this trend line. Trend line starts here, tags here, and then goes down wherever it wants. We went right to that trend line. Uh, we put in some selling signals. We even put in some buying signals here with no follow through. Down we went. Trend indicator is still red. T line is below the trend indicator. Right now is what I would say is a good place to start looking for that short. We want we do want to be a little bit careful. Don't rush in first thing in the mor in the mornings on the market. Let's let the market have a little time to figure out what what it wants to do. So a little time. United um, that looks like a short to me. Uh, we had a beautiful double bottom here. By all rights, man, let's get long. Should have broke through, but it didn't. Um, airlines are beat up a lot nowadays. News postponements, whatever. Uh, either way, price did not like, for whatever reason it was up here, uh, it didn't like what happened. It's starting to move to the downside. So there's a good chance we test that area again. And that puts us in the neighborhood of a 13% target. And it could easily go down even further. Good morning, Jimmy. I just saw your note here. Um, and uh, yeah, Thomas, give me a second. Let me get through these, and we'll look. We'll look at CDO. Here's GDX. GDX is looking good. Low, high, higher low. We didn't make a higher high. We did make a higher low, and then we did a bull kicker right on up here. Nice chart. Again, the 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 gold and silver yesterday just came alive. So let's keep an eye on that. A lot of them moved too far to get. Um, a lot of them move too far to get too, you know, you don't want to get too long if they're stretched out. That's not a worry. That's why we have a watch list. That's why we have a watch list on, uh, that I have a watch list on the scanner uh, set up, you know, to show me my 3 8 trap, my 3 8 trap breakout. I've got one that shows me a T-line bounce, uh, a 10 simple bounce, uh, a 20 uh, simple bounce. I like those bounce uh, scans a lot. I, I utilize those quite a bit. Um, so we just wait till they come back to what we want. Uh, sand is another one. Look at sand. Low, high, higher low, morning star. Didn't quite make a higher high, but it did make a higher low. Beautiful candle Friday. Um, I just I just can't believe we're not going to get back up and test um, seven dollars there and that's about nine percent after that 
we've got a little gap over here that may maybe could get filled and you know there's seven almost 18 percent on that one so so that's the watch list i have there for today we're going to add it to our main watch list all right uh somebody here in the room wants me to take a look at cdo real quick i cdo gonna have to try that one again thomas let's see jimmy's asking what the minimum volume you use in your scans um if i'm going to use volume uh, i'll use maybe over 500,000 shares in the volume area uh lately i've been using the uh the um on a uh, on for ranking the top 25 percent capitalized stocks but if i'm using the volume i'll use 500,000. okay i need to shut this off we'll see everybody uh here in about uh 20 minutes okay take care everyone